Welcome to another InMotion Hosting video tutorial. My name is Arnel Custodio, and today we will be showing you how to enable WordPress debugging. Note that WordPress does not recommend using the debug mode on live sites. You should use it before publishing a site to make sure that there are no existing issues. Debugging is used to display errors that your WordPress site might be generating. You can also turn off the error display and log the errors. The code used to enable the debug mode is located in the wp-config.php file. We will take you through the steps to find the file and add the code. This tutorial is based on a cPanel interface, but as long as you can access your WordPress installation files, then you can edit the wp-config.php file to enable or disable WordPress debugging. Log in to cPanel, then go to the File Manager. In File Manager, find the folder that houses your WordPress installation files. In the root of the WordPress installation folder, you should find the wp-config.php file. The file is a text file and can be edited with a text editor. You can access an editor through the cPanel File Manager by selecting the file, then right-clicking and selecting Edit. You can also select the file and click on the Edit option in the File Manager interface. Scroll down the file and look for a line that says define parentheses quotation mark wp underscore debug closed quotation mark comma false close parentheses semicolon. You may or may not see it, but it is normally there by default. Typically, you will see a description of the debug mode that has been remarked out. Here's a screenshot of the entry that you might see there. If you don't see the code, then you can click on a blank line or hit the Enter key to create one and then type the code in. The code would be define open parentheses, single quotation mark, wp underscore debug, close quotation mark, comma, and then the word true, close parentheses, semicolon. Make sure that the punctuation is as you see it. If it is entered incorrectly, then the debugging mode will not activate. If you see the code there and it is set to false, then simply remove that value and type in true. You can type it in lowercase and it must not have quotes around it. Once you have the debug line set to true, then you can save the file and reload your WordPress site. The debug mode would then be enabled. There may be times when you will want to log the errors but not display them. If that is the case, then you can enter the following code to enable debug mode, enable logging to the file, and then disable the display of the errors and warnings. This is a screenshot of the code that you can add. Notice that the code has comments that start with forward slash forward slash. If you're adding the code, make sure you properly add the punctuation or the code will not work. And that completes our tutorial on enabling the debug mode in WordPress. You should now be able to enable the mode and also save errors to a log file. If you liked our video tutorial, please give us a thumbs up below and subscribe to our channel. Thanks again for watching and have a great day. Check out our InMotion Hosting Support Center for help with your website. We provide thousands of step-by-step -step guides, videos, and much more to lead you towards making your online project a successful one. You can find us at www.inmotionhosting.com support.